Hi guys, Corn here with the Good Crab on the Bad Budget. Now, as I discussed in my earlier video, we're going to do today what's a Mellow Mel. Now, I'm going to do the Cheaters of Mellow Mel, because basically I didn't squeeze the juices myself, and it's not fresh picked fruit. However, it is my friend here, Dull. Basically, it's going to be orange, strawberry, and banana. Okay. Um, again, uh, thanks to dear sweet Harmony giving my special witchy gift, um, I'm going to be doing this Mellow Mel in a more brewer's stationary type market area. So, now, what we're going to need is a sanitized fermentation bucket. As you can tell, there's sanitizer in there. Don't worry about the foam. Never fear the foam. Okay. Alright, so, got the bucket handy. Gonna need a few things. Gonna need that handy dandy measuring cup. Sterilized, of course. Gonna need a funnel. Ta da! Funnel. Gonna need that handy dandy topper for your fermentation bucket. And you're gonna need your airlock, which comes in four little pieces here. Okay, got the main part, got the lid, and this little, oh, almost dropped it. This little piece here goes on top. Got a spoon, a pair of scissors. And you're going to need a little one of these. Now with the sanitizer in it, I do recommend you give it a quick rinse. Hot water, of course. Just so the yeast can pour it. Now, I've got some water heating up over here on the stove. Again, it's not going to come to a boil. Okay, it's not a non-boil recipe. Keep that in mind. So, while this water is heating up, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and get my yeast starter uh, started, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I got my honey out here, again, now, you want to use honey, because it is a mead, and not a wine, not a beer. It's mead, not mine. Again, also, I forgot to mention that it's very important, uh, your honey, because if it's dark, it's going to be a darker mead. If it's light, it's going to be a lighter mead. Also, depending on the type of honey that you get, it will affect the taste. <laughs> Alright, now, I've got my water heated up, not boiled, and dandy and trusty measurement of cup here, sterilized and rinsed, just to be on the safe side. And again, going to put about... Uh, Three to four cups. Four cups is about a pound. About a pound. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all that in there. All right. Uh, that's one. Now if I can call on Silverman to come in here for a minute, as soon as I find him. Oh, Silver! Oh, come on, boy. There he is. All right. Um, if you wouldn't mind, put it, filling that up with some of that spring water over there for me. Um, again, measuring spoon, such as this right here. Now, in the other video, you see what pretty much it's going to look like. So, getting that honey melted in there, getting everything mixed up nice and neat. Make sure it doesn't burn to the bottom. And so I'm not sitting here boring you with putting, adding cup after cup. Make sure you put at least four cups for your one pound of honey. And we'll be right back. Okay. Now, got a four cups of honey in here. Uh, again, I only put a few liters of water in here. Um, it's just so, yeah, you can get integrated pretty well. Um, and this is all nice and set in. In a moment, I'll let you take a look at it when I put it in the fermenter because the bucket's kind of you know, dark and stuff and the camera 
that sucks. Okay. Um, now, it's a little too hot to put in there yet. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a real cool down here real fast. And we're going to jump start here a little bit. Now, again, the bucket, sanitized, looking good as always, because it's beautiful that way. Thank you, Harmony. Okay. Um, and we are going to go ahead and put the honey away that we don't need. All right. Get our juice opened, so when it comes time, and it pops right off. Good. Now, again, this is a Mellow Mel, um, the cheater's way. Um, so, check the temperature of this pot. Now, you don't want your mead to be fermenting under, say, 50 degrees. You want to try to keep it as warm as possible. But you don't want it hot, otherwise it will kill the yeast. So, this is, if you have a thermometer, well, that's great, happy, go lucky. If you don't, you have to use science, which is also known as the side of your hand to fill a pot. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> don't burn yourself. Yeah, I don't suggest putting your tongue in there to see how hot it is. Just a friendly suggestion. Not saying I've ever done that. Really? <laughs> okay, so this is set up. Um, the next thing I need, ah, good, the yeast is ready. Fantastic. All right, now keep in mind when you add your ingredients, it will change the temperature. So if it's semi okay to put in, you can go ahead and dump the, the must, as they call it, because it's a must have. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm the only one that got that one. Um, okay. Uh, no, uh, no yeast yet. What I want to do is have Harmony come over here for a second so that she can take a look inside here. Alright. Okay. Do, 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 do. Now, this is all the honey and everything that's incorporated. It won't sink down to the bottom. It's all melted in nice and neat. Don't worry about the foam. Kind of. It's just going to have stuff on top because it's boiled in well. It's honey. Um, now we're going to go ahead and grab that. The juice. Um, good. Now, juice has a natural sweetness to it. So we're not going to really have to do a lot to it. Um, go ahead and pour that in there. Awesome. And make sure it doesn't splash in the eye. Fantastic. Good job. Now comes the fun part. Alright. Now, uh, if my lovely assistant would give that a stir for me. Mix it around for me. Great. Again, this also aerates as well as mixes your ingredients in together. Mmm, smells like mead. Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. Um, Oh, and while he's doing that, I want to make sure that you uh, understand that my last video when I made the actual mead in the milk carton, it's important to add at least 24 to 25 raisins into it, which I did not do, um, hope, and uh, Lovely Harmony corrected it on the actual video itself. You want to do that at the same time that you add the oranges, so when you shake everything together, it pretty much comes well, pretty well together. The good news is, you don't have to worry about putting raisins in this one. Because the juices and the honey have enough sugars. Okay? Alright. Okay, thank you, thank you. That will do nicely. Now comes the fun part. Pitching the yeast. The yeast. Um, temperature is just about right for survival. 
So what we're going to do, you want to pitch it in the middle. Alright. And now, comes the fun part. Give her a whirl with the spoon, would you? <laughs> stir the pot, stir the pot. Now, aerating your mead is very important because it needs plenty of oxygen uh, for the yeast to do its thing. I wouldn't suggest drinking it at this point. Now, if you have a hydrometer, you can check your sugar. Um, I don't have a hydrometer yet, but I'm getting one. Alright, keep it around. Well, a couple more stirs out of doer. Alrighty, that should do her there. Alright. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just one second here. Now I'm going to put the lid on. Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. Violence. So over it. Okay. Now, comes the airlock. The fun stuff. What you want to do is, if you want to grab some of that spring water. Now, there's a fill line on here. Okay, um, which you probably can't see because it's kind of wet, but um, what you want to do is, uh, you see that fill on there? Yep. You want to fill that up with water up to that point for me. Also, the cork. Um, um, if you have a dry paper towel, woohoo, I mean, like, yeah, sprinkle a little paper towel, but it'll work. Make sure the paper towel hasn't touched nothing. There we go. Awesome. Now, you want to put the cork in. Awesome. Alright. Make sure that's in there. Nice. Okay, you want to put this top on for me. Awesome. Then you want to make sure this goes in there nice and neat. No little situations. Unlike Snooky. Okay. Jersey Shore reference, bad? Alright. Okay, um... And, voila! You have your melon now started. Now again, you, um, you want to make sure everything's airtight. Make sure the lid's on there. Now within a couple hours, it'll start going... Alright, um... And again, I will be continuing uh, how to, you know, watch your mead, how to siphon it, how to clear it, and all that as the videos go along. Um, I was deter I was determined to go ahead and do a Yule or a Samhain mead. Unfortunately, the ingredients wasn't able to get together in time, nor would it be ready. But rest assured, it's not over yet. I will be doing one of each soon. So there you have it. Harmony's Mellow Mel. Just for her, because she's just like that. Um, so the first one is dedicated to her. And to all of you who subscribe to our channel and watch our videos, we thank you very much. Uh, Silvermane, myself, and Harmony, we can't thank you guys. Really, we can't thank you enough. As always, you ain't got to be rich to be a witch. Merry Matt. Bless and be. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. Put this in a cool place in a dark area. Um, also, if it helps to keep your temperature regulated, uh, get a towel or a t-shirt and wrap it around it. Put it somewhere where it's not going to be disturbed. Also, make, keep an eye on this airlock. Um, uh, later on, in about a month or so, it should slow down, and uh, we will be back at that time to show you how to do your first racking as well as just mm, maybe the first uh, slight taste maybe okay anyway so be sure to be safe be kind keep the broom pointed up